long we're super rusty. rusty. No, we, how long? I don't know, because even when we were filming, I felt like we weren't saying it as much. Yeah, we weren't saying it as much. Guess what, guys? We're back! Ow! Ow! Oh. For a lot of you guys that don't know, guys, I've been out of commission. She okay. went through a very life-changing oh event. Yes, guys, super life-changing. For the Neezy gang, I know you guys already know, but for the people that don't know and they are actually new to the Neezy gang, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on because yes. you don't want to miss a video. Miss a video, guys, and give this video a huge thumbs up, okay? So, baby, I'm tired. If you guys don't know, your girl had breast surgery. Hey. hey. Okay, but not the type of breast surgery most people probably get, where they're trying to get titties. I she got had them reduced. Re removed them titties. Removed. Not all of them, but some of them. She had some of it removed. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a breast reduction, guys. For a lot of you guys that don't know. And uh, yeah, man. Um. Wow. If you guys, it, it was, guys. first of all, I'm smiling right now, but guys, first, I'm in pain. We underestimated the entire thing. Wait, it's, you well, underestimated. I try to tell her, girl, this is, this is huge. Like, yeah. and she's like, Aw. she really thought she was going to be able to take care of herself. She was like, well, I mean, if worst comes to worst, you know, I'll be fine. I yeah, I got it. Myself. Girl, I was like, what? We'll get into that later. I yeah. was like, it was, it was, I am so glad. I just want to say, baby, I'm so grateful for you. And like your mother, you guys literally helped me get through the most traumatic thing of my life. I think it was a lot like heavier for you than you even expected. But. Yeah, it was very, very emotional. It's still emotional. <sighs> guys, shut up. Should we show home a little sneak peek? Do you guys want to see? What do you think? What do you feel? They're your boobs. They're mine. They're yours. They are mine. So how do you feel? Do you want to show them? Should I? I don't know. It's up to you. I don't want you to feel like you're, you know, just a piece of meat. I'm not a piece of meat. So I know you guys probably think I'm just a piece of meat. Like, show us. We've been ready. Show us. But if you if you haven't seen I've actually showed them on my channel already. It's it's, it's live. But this but is- But if you movie. haven't seen it. The Neezy Gang. Okay, the Neezy Gang. All right, let's show okay. them. Okay. You want to show them? Do you? I mean, yeah, I think so. Okay. You're making me nervous, should I not? I think you should. Yeah, okay. I think you should, right. come on. Uh -huh. Show them them tickle bitty. Today is actually, she's in more pain than she's actually been because we had to take her tape off and- We weren't supposed to take the tape off until six weeks, but- We weren't? No, but we had an emergency and he told me to take the tape off. Jesus. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to be over six weeks. Okay, guys. So I just want to say before I show you guys, move these. Before I show you guys, um, they are very swollen. Okay. Like hard as rocks. Like when, like you know, like say if you get stung by a bee, you know, it's like boop, and then it's like boop. You know that what I'm saying? That was my mom's eye. That's what I was trying to show. <laughs> your mom's eye. That's exactly what I was thinking about. But uh, they are so freaking swollen. So these are not going to be the exact size. But even the swelling titties are smaller than. The big titties. Big right, yeah, right, right, right. You ready? We're gonna, we're gonna do some light. Can you see? Can you yes. see? Yes. I'm wearing black, so I don't know if they can tell. Can you, do you think they can tell? I don't, let me see. Let me check it out. Check it out. Mm. Check it out. Yeah. They're gonna be they're able to tell. tell. Okay. They're gonna be able to tell. All right, here we go. Ready? And I'm coming. Bam! Oh, oh, shit! Oh! oh. God damn! Can y'all tell? God damn, God damn, God damn! Yeah. I'm more black. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, from the side. It's oh, where you can really tell because of the black. Mm. Yes, yeah, she's in. Hey, put your arms down. Put your arms down. She's a whole oh, new yeah. girl. She's a whole new girl. Oh, no. New, titties. new titties. Who this? Who this? Okay, so guys, uh, we're gonna get a little bit more into detail of everything that happened, but I'm gonna show you guys, show you guys, and like you know, so you guys can really see. I guess under. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, do you do you, do you, do you want some tea, baby? You want some tea? Yes. Love some sweet tea. Some sweet tea. Some sweet tea. Some sweet tea. No, I was saying. I was saying. I was saying. I would love some sweet tea. Oh, okay. You get it. Okay, what kind? Do you you get it. What kind do we got, baby? Damn. Um, god damn! Oh my god! Sheesh! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know if it was my titty swollen or that. Hey, it was too. Damn! Stop looking at it. Stop it! We got some glazed lemon loaf. Some oh, ah, oh. We got ginger. We have salted caramel. Oh. We have lavender chamomile. Lavender chamomile. I'm we'll gonna take the caramel. You want the caramel? Caramel. Did you say caramel or caramel? 
Caramel. It depends. If I'm feeling, you know, fancy, I'll say caramel. If I'm feeling like a basic bitch, I'll just say caramel. I say caramel. You better be careful. All right, he's in here. Look at them titties from the side. Look at them titties from the side. Look at them titties. Look at them titties. Look at them. Titties. See, now I gotta, now I gotta lose some more weight because now my, my titties used to be smaller than I. We'll show you guys. I'll show you guys the up close and personal of these titties. Why are your pants down? Why are you telling my business? Please, gang. Why does she walk around? Let me show them. Let me show them what I'm looking at right now. Why does she walk around like this? <laughs> they can't see me. They can't see, so I can walk around like this. <laughs> does it look crazy? It does. Look, listen, that's how she comes out the bathroom too. I, if I want to know if she pooped, yeah, that's how she comes out the bathroom I after have, she pooped. Baby, you know what just happened? Yeah, she did. She just pooped. So like, I have to wear my, it's just like a breeze. You know what I'm saying? You I can't just automatically just go pulling the pants back up, right? You got to let yeah. it air out a little. You know, my ass is clean. I wipe it good, but it's just like, ah. I got it. Um, All right, music game, 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 game. These things sitting up and swollen, boy. They sitting up and swollen. Can y'all see me? I look so much smaller. That's insane. Man, um, I can't even really like. They're so swollen on the side. Like, it's hard for me to put my arms out. No. Mm -hmm. Like that's where most of the swelling is. Like if you look from the side, they look like kind of like small. But then when you look from the front, it's like. Zoo. You know, yeah. super swollen guys. And it's crazy too, when I first got her from the hospital, she looked like she was like a A cup. Oh my God, that's what she keeps saying. She's like, you were tiny. But they just swelled. So yeah. now they don't look as small, but look well, at the picture. That's what it looked like. Mm -hmm. All right, that was she, was, she was on meds, guys. She was yeah. dazed and confused. And she was so swollen yeah. too. When I first got her, her face was just like swollen. Like so big. Yeah, it was big, babe. Yeah, it was big. My belly was big too. Yeah. I don't think the swelling on the belly went down though yet. You think it didn't go down, right? Um. Okay. Okay, so baby, yeah, tell them how, or uh, let me tell them, let me tell them my experience and then what you, when I came out to you. Yeah. Okay, so, you know. Wait, before we do get into that. Okay, what? We're doing kind of like a mukbang. A weird mukbang because I'm eating food and she's drinking tea. Yeah. I got um, a poke bowl, okay. but it's completely vegan. It doesn't have um, any meat in it. It's tofu. Nice. And lettuce, no rice. Okay, nice. go ahead. And I got caramelized tea from the one and only. Not nice tea, it's not cheap, but she messes up my life. I can't mm. help it, baby. <laughs> Ooh, I just can't mm. help it. You heard it? You mm. heard it? I was going to say, I got some caramelized tea from the one and only Miss Nat Talia. Oh. Bars. 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 Okay, y'all. Anyway, okay, so look. This is what happened. We went in. I went in to freaking get breast surgery. Everybody knows I was anxious. I was nervous. I didn't know how to feel because I had never gotten surgery before. You know what I'm saying? But going there, it was like there was no like... <sighs> Oh my God, oh my God, it's about to happen. It was just like a whole bunch of feelings, but they were kind of like, I feel like I- I was like it didn't hit you. Yeah, it didn't hit me. That's how you I know felt saying? watching her. I was just like, like I'm taking it well, right? Even when they called her back, I started like, I felt like I had a poop as soon as they called her name. And she's like, all right, yeah, all right. I wish Natalie, I wish she could be back there, but yeah, Nat Nat couldn't be back there. But yes, okay, so look, so I go, I go in there, you know what I'm saying? And literally I'm like, all right, cool. Then I go in there and they're like, oh yeah, get changed to this. Of course I get changed to this, but I film a little TikTok. If y'all haven't seen that TikTok, go watch it. I filmed a TikTok, so I'm over here, you know, filming a TikTok. <laughs> right before surgery. Right before surgery, right? And then I'm like, okay, you know, I got the gown on, booty cheeks is out, right? Right. And then they're like, okay, cool. Uh, we want you to pee one more time. I have to pee, just make sure I'm good, right? But then I'm like, okay, cool. I'm walking around, cheeks out. I'm trying to cover my cheeks. There's people back there or whatever. I ain't want everybody seeing my cheeks. I ain't coming for my cheeks. Coming for my cheeks, right? So then they're like, all right, you ready? And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. Let's get it. Like, I'm literally just like this, the same energy. Like, okay, that's cool. So then I walk into the operating room. Meanwhile, I'm out there Shit meditating. <laughs> like, like, I had to meditate because honestly, I was feeling so much anxiety. So guys, I get into the operating and literally, oh my boobs are they're so hard, it's hurting. Um, I get into the operating room. Soon as I walk in, it's literally so fucking cold they in there. They got knives out ready, huh? No, baby, they're not ready for the knives. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you didn't see it, so you're just you thinking they're just old knives. You ready? 
ready to get cut open. Let me cut the titties. <laughs> no, nobody was in there. It was, just, it was, it was. I think two, like two people, like an assistant. Like, hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. So I walk in there. I'm literally shivering. It's so fucking cold in there. Like, just imagine you, Pittsburgh, right? Okay. You, you know Pittsburgh. You live mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, right? Pittsburgh. Walk outside, ass cheeks, ass cheeks naked, right? And it's snowing. And it's hailing. Imagine that weather. And you're nervous. And so nervous. you're already yeah shaking. So I walk in like, oh, why is it so cold? They're like, oh, you know, just to you know keep the germs and stuff. Like you have, it has to be that way, right? So is that the the room that you walked into? Is that the actual room yes. that they cut Wait, you open in, I think or did so. they take you somewhere else? Bitch, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Let me get to it. Let me tell you. Um, Let me tell you. So then it's cold as fuck, and I'm over here shivering. Like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. You're warm up. And I'm just like, <laughs> so then they're like, okay, just lay down here. So I lay down on the little table or whatever, and it's actually really warm. Like my booty chicks is just touching the table. Mm -hmm. It's like a cushion table, you know what I'm saying? And it's really warm. And I'm like, oh, okay, but I'm still cold. So then like, okay, just open your arms. I can't do that. Oh, yeah, but baby, give an example. Open your arms like that. I can't do that. So then open your arms, baby. So then he's like, okay, cool. And he's talking to me this moment. I knew, baby. He was asking me stuff that he didn't give a fuck about. What that means? You know what that means? Everybody knows what he's that means. He's distracting you. He's fucking distracting me. I'm like, you think you're slick? He was trying to say, you ain't this friendly, sir. You're not this friendly. Not the doctor. This is the, like the, the assistant or something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, no, the doctor's not even here yet. He's like, oh, so what do you do? How's it going? Oh, what you do today? I'm like, oh, uh, I just came in here. What are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm just strapping your arms down. You know, just strap your one arm right here. They just had a Velcro here, and I'm just like, what? They strap me down, right? So then they get the other arm, right? And he's just talking oh, to me. Oh, hell no. Right. Like spread open. Spread eagle. open. Spread eagle. Baby, I thought for sure I was going to have to do bald eagle. But anyway, so then they get this arm. They stretch it Girl, out. Girl, right? my arms are tired. Okay, but okay, you get the point. There was My arm is out, right? They stretched out. So he's just making sense. Like, there's n the conversation is literally going nowhere. I mean, it's going places, but I know this is the point of this conversation before they put me under. That's the part I was terrified. So then they literally get to my, he, he's tapping my, he's tapping my hand. Yeah. Watch like this, he's tapping my hand and he's looking for a vein. He's looking for the vein. Oh, I still feel it. Oh, it's right there. You see it, baby? Oh shit. Can y'all see it, Nisi Gang? Nisi Gang, can y'all see it? It's right there. There it is. That's it. So he's looking for a vein. He finds it. Boom. Ah, injects a long ass, thick ass needle like this. And was that long? That long, baby. Goes inside of me. You know, I don't like stuff inside me like this. He's inside of me. And, well, pause. <laughs> the needle is inside of me, right? The needle's inside of me. And I'm like, what's that? What you doing? He's like, oh, that's just the IV. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So he's just talking. He's just talking. The girl comes in around this corner. So I'm like, oh, they're trying to distract me. They're trying to do a two-on-one right now. I know what they're doing. You right? thought she was coming in with a knife, huh? Yeah, I thought she was coming in. But I'm looking at her. I'm looking at him like, what's going on? Damn. He's like, okay, so. And I'm like, what you doing? He's like, I'm putting the, um, this is the anesthesia. Or anesthesia. What's it called? Mm -hmm. Anesthesia. Anastasia. Anesthesia. Anesthesia. Okay. And Tisha. At that I thought moment, was... I would have chickened out. I, I take it back. Take it I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Gotta I go. Do it. Take it out. Mm -mm. Gotta go. My titties is fine. I'm going out. They good. Take it out. They good. So he puts Waukesha. So he's just literally like, all right, you're going to feel this little pain. Not a pain, but like a pinch. Going all the way from your arm, all the way up to your shoulder, to your head. And then I'm like, oh, really? And I'm like, oh, I don't feel. Oh, it's going up. And he's like, yeah, so how you feeling? So what you're going to do is literally. <laughs> I'm knocked out. I knocked out, y'all. I don't even remember what he was saying. Like, I tried to stay awake, babe. I tried. I'm over here Leave like, it to her to try to stay awake through surgery. What is wrong with you? Girl, I would have been trying to sleep before he said he was doing it. I would have been like, all right, let me get ready. No. Nah, comfortable. I was scared. I, I would have been scared to be awake. Yeah, Marie, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. I know. So then I knock out. And it literally, I, I felt, I knew there were people around me. Mm -hmm. Like the experience that I was feeling, I knew that there were people around me. I felt like there was four people in the room. I felt like I was going in and out. I just seen lights, bright lights. And it just felt like it was, I was there, but I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know. I felt like I was asleep for like 30 minutes. It took a 30 minute nap. You told me you were dreaming about surgery the yeah, whole time. That, yeah, exactly. Dreaming about surgery and like what was going down and stuff like that. And I was like, I knew I was there, but I didn't, you know? I knew that I can feel the people there. I can feel the energy. But I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like almost like I was there, but I couldn't just open my eyes all the way. It felt kind of like foggy, you know? 
And you couldn't feel nothing? Yeah, I couldn't feel anything. Okay, good. Yeah. It just felt like it was a 30 minute nap of the people just around me. Mm -hmm. You know, their energy, I could feel it. Um, so then, you know, mind you, I thought Did you I was- you scared or you felt relaxed? No, it was just like, what's going on? You know, like for 30 minutes, but in and out of it, you know? And, mm -hmm. you know, mind you, I was really in surgery for how long? She was in surgery for three hours. Three hours. I was like, oh, it felt like a 30 minute nap. Yeah. Okay, so then, yo, 30 minutes, I fucking woke up and it was like, oh, blurry. Yo, so then I just started scratching my neck. I'm trying to feel you my still neck. Got the Oh, I still have it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time you touch it, I can feel swole. You super must, swole. Man. Yeah, because I was like, I was scratching super hard. I'm like, I'm going to feel my neck and I'm this scratching. And I'm looking and I'm like, I'm trying to get up and I can't get up. I'm looking over and I'm like, yo, what's going on? Where am I? Please, somebody get down there. I know this sounds funny now, but like, swear to God, like I'm actually emotional about it right now. I'm trying to joke about it. But like on some real shit, like I woke up and I was terrified. I was screaming and I kept calling for Natalie. I was like, please, somebody go get my girlfriend, please. I, I was trying to sit up. Yeah, baby. I was like, where's Natalie? And I was screaming. There was nobody in the room, right? So I'm screaming like, where's Natalie? Please, like somebody like get my girlfriend, please. And I'm crying. Like, my tears are just coming down from my eyes and I'm just shaking like really hard. And then I try to sit up, I try to touch my chest. It hurts so bad and I fall back down and then I'm like, oh my God, where am I? Please, and then I look over, oh my God. It was a girl next to me. I guess I was in the recovery room. There was a girl next to me and literally she wasn't like this, like how me and Natalie are, but I would say like, I would say like 12 feet away, not 12 feet, like six feet, actually six feet with a curtain but you can kind of see her, you can see her head. So I like look over and she looked dead. Like she was still, I guess she was still passed out on her Anastasia, Anastasia. Anastasia she, girl. Okay, Anastasia, <laughs> she was still passed out. And she was like blue and purple and I thought she was dead. Like, oh my God. I was like, yo, what the Didn't fuck? Didn't you say she had like a tooth down yes, her throat yeah. or something? She had something on her face. I just remember I seen her and she looked blue and purple and I was screaming, I was like, very, it was very traumatic for me, actually. And I kept saying, like, where's Natalie? Where's Natalie? And I'm bawling, like, crying. Was like, anybody in there yet? No, not no. yet. So then I'm, like, then I'm literally like, please, somebody get my girlfriend. And I'm just like, boo-boo crying. And the nurses come in. And they're like, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm just like, no, please. Like, please get my girlfriend. Like, I'm shaking. Like, I wouldn't stop. Oh, and they're okay. like, it's okay. She's out there. I'm like, you have to get her. Like, I, I, I need her right now. Please. Um, and they're like, okay, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. What did you on. feel like? Why do you feel like you kept calling for me? Like, you just needed the hug? Like, you I don't needed... know. That was literally the first instinct of me waking up. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember, I didn't know where I was. I'm like, where mm -hmm. am I? Where am I? And then I just was like, Natalie, please, can you guys see my girlfriend? She's there. She's here. Mm -hmm. Go get her. And that was just all I can think of. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was, it was super traumatic. Um, you know, like I can joke about it as much like, ah, oh, Natalie, but like in real life, it was terrifying. Yeah, I mean, imagine. Yeah, it was so terrifying. And then I just remember them lifting me up like, okay, we're going to bring her in here. So then like they give me up and I'm like, I just remember just, just in and out days, in and out. And then I didn't even know they put a robe on me. The, you gave him a robe, right? Mm -hmm. I thought, that, I don't know. I don't even remember putting on the robe. And then I sat in a wheelchair and I'm just like crying. I'm looking up at her. I'm like, please, just get out of here, please. And like tears are just falling and I won't stop What shaking. was she saying? She's like, okay, you're going to get her. We're going to get her. It's okay. You're okay. Mm -hmm. And then so um, they, real, they roll me out to, I guess, where everybody is. Like, you know, if you guys look at our video, like we were in... Like not the waiting room, but where is that? What's that room called? Like we were just talking to the camera, like, oh, I'm about to go to about to go to the doctor, guys. No waiting room. Yeah, waiting room. Okay, so the waiting room. room. So they take me out where the waiting room is, and mind you, there's people out there waiting. Like they're taking me to Natalie. You know, the surgery's done. So they take me out there, and the first thing is like it's just super bright. They open the doors. I see hella people, and I'm just like embarrassed. Like fuck, like. I think I'm crying too hard. Like people are looking at. Um, and then I see Natalie. She has a camera, and I just remember her holding the camera and just like smiling. And I'm just like, like I felt relieved. Like there she is. Like I finally got to what I need to get. And like she's gonna explain to me everything that's happening right now. But I'm just I need her. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it just felt like, oh my god. And then when I seen you, it was like, 
I, I feel like when you saw me is when you broke down. I yeah, broke like down. it was so on my end. So yeah, now I'm in Natalie's care, and now I can barely act. It's crazy because once I get to her, I, that's where I kind of start. Like my memory was going in and out. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that it was like, you know, when you're conscious, you're mm -hmm. scared, you're just trying to get to where you need to go. But then when you kind of feel safety, mm -hmm. you kind of just, I guess you're letting the drugs kick in. But what, yeah. now, what did you feel? So from my perspective, you know, as I was nervous getting going there, it was just, she seemed calm. I was like a nervous wreck, but I wasn't even the one getting surgery. And it's not like I felt like something was going to happen. I was just nervous for her. And I just felt like when we got there, you know, it didn't really take much time. We get there and then they're like, okay, you want to come back? And once they said, do you want to come back? I knew I wasn't going to be able to go with her. So she's just like, all right. And then she gets up to go back and now I'm just sitting there and I'm like, I don't know. At first we were texting for a while because like she was just waiting. That's and what then, I was doing TikTok. Yeah, I guess she was like doing TikToks and stuff like that. So I just stayed kind of in the waiting room and then she texted me and she said, I'm about to go in. I forgot I texted you that. Yeah. And before I could even respond, I was like, okay, I try to say something positive. I was like, I love you. Like you're going to be okay. I don't even remember that. I didn't get to send it. Because by the oh. time I was about to push send, and oh, it was they, not even long, they came out and handed me her phone. And I was like, I didn't get to say anything to her. And I was just like, oh, I felt so like, yeah, it made me feel. Ah! <laughs> Did he... you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, pumpkin. I felt so like, uh, I was like, all right, let me go downstairs and just kind of get my mind together. So y'all know me, I had my journal with me because I was like, I had to journal through this. So I started I was sitting on the curb and I just started journaling because I was like literally shaky. Like I was so nervous and I was just like, okay. And I was talking to my mom too because my mom wasn't there yet and because she, she had to take my grandma to the doctor's. Um, but she basically was like, I'm coming, you know, I called her, I was like, mom, I'm really nervous. And she's like, I'll be there like as soon as I can, it's going to be okay. So I was just writing and like, you know, just uh, like manifesting very positive, uh, positive outcome. And that she's going to be happy when she comes out on the other end and it'll be worth it. And that she's calm and safe oh, during surgery. You, it was so hard. Oh, pumpkin. Get emotional. Oh, pumpkin. Get emotional, babe. It was really tough. Um, but yeah, basically, I was just, you know, trying to like cope with the emotions of knowing like during that, in that moment, like she was in there by herself. Like I couldn't yeah. be with her, you know, I couldn't be to, there to help you to hold your hand while they put you to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, you're going to make me cry. I feel like I'm going to cry too. Oh my god, like, oh babe, Very you're hard. such a good girlfriend, bro. Like, I because I just couldn't imagine being doing it by myself, you know. And just the thought of you doing it by yourself, I was just like, I wanted to be there for you so bad, yeah. And, um, yeah, but I just started meditating, and you know, I was around a bunch of people, I didn't care. I just started meditating, I was just breathing through it, and then I just felt like this feeling of peace and calm come over me and I was like she's gonna be okay you know she's gonna be asleep the whole time like she'll be okay and I'm just gonna send her so much love and light throughout the whole process so and then I was like I have three hours on my hand like I can't just hands I can't just sit here so I then decided I was like all right I gotta go fill her prescription for her and so I you know walked down the street and I got her prescription and then I was like, oh my God, she needs a robe. Because meanwhile, everyone else came super prepared. They had robes and slippers and everything to yeah. wear after the surgery. This girl went in there and a black tee and like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a regular outfit. And I was like, I need to get you something. So I went and I searched forever and finally found like a really nice cozy robe. And then at this point it was like, all right, I've been gone for about two and a half hours and they said like, all right, it, they said it was going to take about two and a half hours. So then um, they ended up calling me and they were like, hey, so the surgery's done. And I was on my way back in the Uber and they were like, the surgery's done and um, you can come and get her in about 30 minutes. She has to wake up. It went good. And I was just like, oh my God, it was like a weight lifted off my chest. and. Just to know that she just, oh, it was so tough, guys. Like, you have no idea. Hey. And my um, my mom, she, by the time I got back from 
getting her robe and her prescription and stuff, my mom was there and I sat in the car with my mom for a little bit and I said, they said she's ready, you know? Mm -hmm. So then, um, like I ended up going upstairs at the time they told me and I let them know, I'm like, I'm here for her, is she ready? And they're like, oh, um, I'm gonna see if she's ready or whatever. So I'm just standing there and I'm just like, <sighs> and I'm like, I keep like recording and stopping, recording and stopping. Like, okay, should I record this? Like it felt like, I wanted to because I knew she'd want me to, yeah. but it almost felt like inappropriate to. Like, I was yeah. like, she's just got surgery. Like, should I record her? I was like, my mom even told me, she was like, well, because I was telling my mom, I was like, I don't know if I should. And my mom said, it's better to do it. And she just, and if it feels wrong, just stop. Then you didn't record it. And <laughs> when she's better, she's like, damn, why didn't you record yeah. it? So I'm sitting there waiting and the door opens finally. Was and there any door opens that it wasn't me? Oh, multiple. Okay. Multiple times. And I had to go to the bathroom. You guys know when you're like nervous and you're like, oh my God. I had to go to the bathroom and I was like, but what if they... I was like, I'm going to go so fast. So like I ran, yes. Because I was like, I don't know like what state you're going to be when they take you out. I'm going to be like, oh, let me go pee. Like, so yeah. I was like, let me do it before she comes out. So then I'm just standing there waiting and the door opens and I see it's her and she's in the white soft robe that I gave them. But she's just like, looks dazed and confused. And when she sees me, she's just, so she's just crying cool. so hard. And on my end, I, I was ready to be like, hey, you yeah. know, I yes, I remember lucky. you were smiling. and But you see, when I came out, it seemed like you were so far, but really? like you were getting further. You know, really? what I'm that's what it felt like. You were just like they took so long for me to get to you, Aww, and the, and the so door weird. was like right there to there. Yeah, you know? I walked right over to you because she was like, Hoo. I think she had like a blanket on her, and she was just like trying to hide her face because she was like looking around and like people were looking at her and stuff. Yeah, I was crying and like I was just like rubbing her, and I was like, it's okay, it's okay. And I recorded some of it, but then eventually I stopped because of how hard she was crying and I wanted to give her privacy, you know? Yeah. And um and she I was just like, What's wrong? And I just kept kissing her. I'm like, You did it, you did it, like good job, you know. And she was just like, Oh, why do they have me out here? I don't yeah. wanna be out here. And I was like, We have to go downstairs, like it's time to go home. And I just thought it was so crazy that you could leave under that state but I was like I guess this is normal so yeah. you know we go down and like my mom I don't really I remember going into the elevator but then I just remember you guys look so tall like really yeah and I'm like and I just kept, kept rubbing her, and I was like the whole time looking like you were you. Oh yeah, you didn't even really react to really me. react because oh, you know God. she was so emotional and confused and stuff. But I was looking at her boobs like what the heck? like when I tell you they look so they're, I like small, small. like so small. I, they literally looked like my boobs like in a robe. You guys said that's like, crazy. It was so small, and I was just like, you know, going from seeing her being a double D to that, I was just yeah. like, this doesn't even look like the same person. She just looked longer, like. Yeah. Didn't you say when I stood up? Your mom said when I when they finally got me up. Yeah. So whenever they finally stood her up, she seemed so much taller than yeah. me. And usually we're like neck and neck. And when they stood her up, to when we got downstairs, they stood her up, and then we were like helping her in the car, and she was just like, oh, like. And then we get her in the car, and I, you know, my mom. I don't even I think barely she remember. realized my mom was there. I remember first. seeing flashes of her. I remember leaning over. Was she trying to open the door or something? I think. She she was trying to help you in yeah yeah i'm like and i was looking i was just like it was confusing and like was, honestly she was kind of like shaking. in that state for like an hour at least after surgery like yeah. it took a long time for it maybe even more than that it took her a long time to stop crying and it, i think she was just so emotional it was like, like it felt traumatic yeah like the emotions that i was feeling just felt like Oh my god! Like this is scary. Like I'm scared. I'm terrified. And I already have anxiety. She had anxiety the so whole time. Like, she was just like shaking like a leaf. Like she was, like, and she felt so cold. Like mm -hmm. she kept telling me, "I'm so cold." But meanwhile, we're in Miami. It's like 90 degrees, and so mm -hmm. we had to turn the heater on in the car. It was boiling hot. That she yeah. just kept saying how cold she was, and I just kept turning up the heater. And then um, basically, eventually, you know, we went and got her prescription because it wasn't ready yet, but. And then we went and got smoothies. Oh, but remember what happened? Oh, shoot. Yes. You want to tell that part? You oh, remember it? Yeah, I remember it. Because I, I was like in and out of it, but I just remember, um, you know, they told me, they were like, yo, she needs to eat. Like, I remember them saying that like, she needs to eat. 
So I'm like, okay, cool. And you guys yeah, have Yeah, because she couldn't take her pain pills if without, she didn't eat. And I was in pain. So like, yo, get her some food and then take her pills immediately. So then I'm like, like, I need to eat. So they had some bread, banana bread that your grandmother specializes in. Um, they had some banana bread in the car. And, you know, I guess Natalie, I don't know if you fed it to me. Did you feed it to me? Your mom fed it to me. Somebody fed me a piece of banana bread. And was like, I just remember going, like, biting it. And I was trying to chew it. And it just it felt like it was, like, so hard to chew. And I'm like, why is my mouth sore? I didn't know why my mouth was so sore. Like, I was just trying to feel like it hurt to chew. Come to find out, I had a tube in my throat. So I didn't know that I had a tube. And I guess that's just a breathe while they're doing the um, operation or whatever. I don't know what it's for. But um, so I eat the bread. And and literally my mouth swells up like crazy. Not your mouth, your my throat. My throat. Yeah, my throat. My throat like tightens up my little what's that dangly thing called, y'all? The that, dang thing in the back, the back of your throat. throat. That swelled up and it, it was, was like a red. balloon. It looked like it was so, so ima yeah. swollen. Imagine that it this first imagine it this size. Okay, mm -hmm. now say how swollen it was. It was so swollen that I swear it looked like it was becoming transparent. Mm -hmm. Like you could almost see through it to the veins and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because it was so and it was like big, big like and it was like hanging down her throat mm -hmm. and touching her tongue. And she was like I can't, I can't breathe. breathe. And I was scared because I'm like, is her throat closing up? Like, is she not supposed to have banana or nuts after her surgery? Like, they just said, give her food. Like, they didn't say what. Yeah. So it was like, like, when you talk, you know, that thing, that dangly thing, it was touching the back of my tongue, which was closing. And my tonsils were closed up too, super swollen because of the tube. And it was like, everything was so tight. And I'm like, oh. like you could, I, it's still kind of swollen now. Like, you could hear, like, oh, but it was touching. So it was like, I can't breathe. I was talking like that. And she was literally, like, touching it with her tongue and bringing it, like, forward in her mouth. And yeah. I was like, I was like, I flipping it. I'm like, look at it. I, but she didn't say it like that because yeah. she was drugged yeah. up. But she was just like, oh, yeah, baby. She was like, look. Mm -hmm. And I was just like looking, and I yeah, was she like, made, she was like, oh yeah, I was fine. like, it's fine. I was like, you probably had a tube down your throat. Like I was scared, and I was trying to keep her calm. She already had anxiety and was mm -hmm. crying and stuff. And I look at my mom in the back seat. My mom's eyes were like, and I said, do you want to go back to the hospital? And she was like, yes. And then we ended up having to turn around. That was terrible. And I took her boy. back, and they came down and checked her out, and they were like, like, it's normal, you know. She had a tube in her had, throat. Like, they just be yeah, pretty much said it's normal. You had a tube in your throat, so your your tonsil, your, not your tonsil, your throat is pretty much swollen. You know what I'm saying? So just try to keep it light. Like maybe you just drink a smoothie. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all said eat. So uh, I got some eat. banana bread. We were trying to eat immediately. I didn't know I couldn't give her a smoothie. Like, I had to give her a smoothie or some yeah. soup or something. Yeah. So then we went to go get a smoothie. And literally that made it like the cold and the, uh, the smoothie made me feel a lot better. I think the swelling like kind of went down a light quick. So then we get the smoothie. The, the, the coldness of the smoothie like, you know, helps it a lot. I'm able to talk now. My anxiety is kind of like I'm shaking, but it's like not as much. I'm kind of more alert. And then I just see, like, like well, before I got the smoothie, my anxiety was there. And then I looked at Nat, me and her mom were talking. I remember me and your mom were talking for a while while you were getting the smoothies. But we could see Natalie in there. And I just start getting emotional, but I'm trying to hold it in. So then I'm, like, drinking. Natalie comes in the car, and I'm drinking the smoothie. And then just, like, I just start crying crying again and again. i was like okay hard like i was just like so I emotional stop crying. Yeah. i don't know why and she's yeah. just like and i was like i'm sad like i just feel anxiety like i was just I was like it's okay it's okay and i told her it's okay just cry like stop trying to hold it back like yeah. if you just want to cry just cry because it might help you know mm -hmm. and i think kind of did because yeah. then she just she cried for a while and then eventually she stopped crying yeah. And yeah. And then we got to the house. I didn't really care about recording then because it was like, this was my time. You know what I'm saying? Girl, and it was traumatic. It was too traumatic. So we get into the crib, the Airbnb. You know, Natalie brings my bed. She puts it on the floor so I can still be with everybody. We pillows stacked up. Um, we slept in the, you know, a nice bed and in she room. in the living room with her, her mom. It was a really good experience. Um, I didn't think that I was going to be unable to walk. And like you know, I was able to walk, but it was she like do anything. I had to literally sit. get into a squat position on the bed and 
woo, lift pushed her up. her up, like lift her up every time she had to go to the bathroom mm-hmm. in the middle of the night, waking up. <laughs> it was like it was like a baby. It was like what, like and, and but a I big was, ass baby because yeah, I was drinking so much. Light. Light. Yeah, still fat. It just was just like that. remember I was sleeping and I was like, ow, my arm hurts so bad. Why? I was like, you're like, because you keep lifting me up. I was so sore. I felt like I had the craziest workout, but <laughs> it was like three times a night it. or twice a night. Like, a, like a, yeah, I felt like it was like at least three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After like the third night, like then I, you were able to kind of get, get up, up by myself. Yeah. Yeah. But those first couple nights, like Natalie was pulling down my pants and everything took peeing, her to the bathroom. Like everything. And then we finally had to shower. Oh, I couldn't shower by myself at all. She, yeah. And then, oh my God, there's just so you much. Was, I almost fucking passed out in the shower. Like, we're all good. Like, okay, it's finally, I finally get to wash my ass. You know what I'm saying? They said I can, I can get clean now. A couple days, I had to, had to wait, remember? I had to wait. I had to wait. I had to, wait. I had to, wait. I had to sleep next to it, too. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, now. All right, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, because she wasn't really doing anything. So. so, I literally get in the shower. We're like, okay. She's like, okay, she's helping me. Everything's cool. And I just felt like, I'm like, Nat, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. So, then I'm just like. Out of nowhere, I knew I was about to pass out. Like, I just had never felt a feeling of about to pass out. You know, even with Anastasia or Anastasia. Anastasia, girl. Anastasia. That bitch is ghetto. Why do they call it? Why is she so ghetto? Because <laughs> she'd knock a bitch out quick. Right. Uh, that. <laughs> uh, literally, it, it didn't feel like that. It just felt like, all right, it's about to come. Like, it almost felt like fog. Like, this is it. Mm-hmm. This, no, thank you. It just felt like, yeah. It felt like, what the fuck? Like, I'm about to pass out, and then I like my weight just started getting heavy. I was like holding her up, and she's just kind of like, and I was like, what the heck? Yeah. And I was like, come on, get out, get out. We gotta. Get. I was like, sit on the toilet. So I like guided her out of the toilet, and she's just kind of like, and I was just trying to please let me get her to this toilet before she passes out. If she's gonna pass out, yeah. If she would pass out, I would. Where would I grab her at to help her from falling? I would have had, can't had really to grab her arms like that. But I would have had to because yeah. it's better to hold her up than her hit her head in the shower or something. Yeah. And I didn't want to like tear her like stitches or mm-hmm. anything, so it was very like scary. But yeah. but we came to find come to find out we couldn't figure out why I was about to pass out. Like damn, like what is going on with me? And then her mom was like, "It's probably too hot in there." So Natalie opened the door immediately, and I just felt like. A relief. It was like, oh my god! Like, remember I went that's to get you I, water and you could barely even drink it. Yeah, it was like it was pouring like, out of her mouth. She was like, oh, "You got me water." Know. You don't remember I went and grabbed you a bottle of water. No. Like, hey, sit there, sit there. And I went. I was like trying to pour it in your mouth, and you're like, "Oh, I don't remember that." It's crazy. Wow. I just remember you opening that door, and it was just like, Oof. I felt yeah. like life was coming back into me. So well, two. <laughs> she had to keep these specific socks on, like after the oh, surgery, yeah. in order to like keep blood circulation. So mm-hmm. they were like tight kind of socks mm-hmm. that went up her calves. Mm-hmm. And you know, she had not only did she take the socks off, then it was hot in there, mm-hmm. and it was just probably a shock to your too system. Much. They yeah, remember they literally said about heat and stuff like that. Yeah. So overall, guys, I know this sounds traumatic and crazy. It was my experience. Like I am thankful. It was. This is. And everybody reacts to uh, Waukesha different. <laughs> the anesthesia. anesthesia. Everybody acts to the anesthesia differently. And for me, it was just an anxiety experience for me. But once I kind of like got off of that anesthesia, like it was like, okay, cool. Like, I think I'm good. Um, I was still traumatic and emotional, like during like the week. She was week pretty from, emotional for like days. Even conversations with us, like, <laughs> I would cry. I would, like, yeah, I was like, even if I was like a little bit, like, would have a little attitude or something. No, it wouldn't even be. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. It would just be like, yeah, like, why would you do this or whatever? Like, why'd you say that? Or what? You know, like, I just didn't like that you did that or whatever. She would just start crying. crying. And I'd be like, okay. Crying. <laughs> okay. Because she doesn't yeah. really cry, like, often. Yeah. It's, like, very rare for her to cry. Yeah. So it was just like, I had to be very, like, careful with her emotions, you know? Yeah. But that was my experience. It was really great. Um, the the procedure was great. It was just that was the reaction to, like, the anesthesia. But I would do it again if I had to, you know? I mean, I don't have to, but, like, 
this is something that means so much to me. You know what I'm saying? And I've been waiting to do this like for so long. So I'm glad I did it. I wouldn't take it back. It was a great experience overall and I loved it. But let's show them, I guess, what my boobs look like under the shirts. Okay. Okay guys, so just so you guys can get up close and personal, remember again for however many times we said it, my boobs are completely swollen, okay? So they might still look big, but they just, might look like a bag they, of rocks. They might buy a bag of rocks, a bag of sacks, but they're completely <laughs> tiny compared to what they were. All right, here we go. Can they see my nipples? My nipples are hard. Okay, cover the nipples. Okay, I'll cover the nipples. Nip -nip. Okay. Hold on, let me see. Yeah. All right, guys, so look. Here we go. You guys can get a look. You can see the shoulder little gun a little bit. But um, these are the boobs. Wow. Wait, move your hands. Okay, go ahead. Wow. Look how much smaller they are. Yeah, they're tiny. My nips are super hard. But um, look at guys how I don't really have any cleavage. Y'all yeah. know that big ass cleavage that I have always had. It is non-existent. And all the swelling is it's like right like here. here to the sides. Because yeah. if you look at her from the side, they don't even stick out that far. Yeah. Like they don't. It's just you could see how much of the swelling is it's right all there. All right here. But when you look from the front, it looks like <gasps> huge. So exactly. once that swelling goes down, it's gonna. I already know. I'm already excited because, like Natalie said, when I first came out, that's kind of how they looked, and they was still swollen. Yeah, she had no so, cleavage yeah. at all. So now that they're like, <laughs> I can still tell from the cleavage that they're gonna be small. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm used to them being huge just right here so much of it you know mm -hmm. and for, for it to be non-existent i'm like nice nice they just look so different and like yeah. a shirt wow yeah so yeah. you guys you know we're gonna keep you guys updated throughout this journey i'm super excited you guys actually are here with us throughout this journey y'all know i've always had big boobs and you're gonna be yeah. able to see the swelling go down yeah y'all yeah. yeah. gonna witness it mm -hmm. yeah but yeah, we got we just want to update you guys and let you guys back. know that she's okay. She's yeah. okay and we're back. We're back. Okay, baby. All right now, you know what the doctor said. <laughs> you know, dude, you can't do nothing for you. I'm looking at you like that. You know where my hands at right now. They on the Bible. Stop! They on the Bible. <laughs> Oh, that dance is holier than now. Need to be. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. All right, these game. We love you guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. We love you. Turn the post notifications on. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment, comment, comment. Hashtag DC game. Has share your favorite part of this video. We love you. 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 Love